Hi, my dear student. Today, we will discuss about the introduction of hyperbola. See, in two-dimensional analytical geometry, already we discussed about parabola and ellipse. In parabola, we have four types. Open upwards, open rightwards, open leftwards and open downwards. In case of ellipse, we have two types. The major axis along x-axis and the major axis along y-axis. In case of hyperbola, we have two types. Type 1, whose general equation will be x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1. In case of ellipse, we will see the denominator value. According to the denominator value, we will declare the major axis and minor axis, which has more value, whose denominator gives a major axis and another one gives the minor axis. But in case of hyperbola, positive square by a square, negative square by b square equal to 1. Here, positive square gives the transverse axis. In ellipse, we may use the word major and minor, but in case of hyperbola, we use the word transverse and conjugate. So, in this case, plus x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1. Plus x square by a square, therefore, transverse axis along x axis. In this case, transverse axis along x axis. Transverse axis along x axis. The diagram will be x y origin so it will be like this okay this is center vertices v1 and v2 foci f1 and f2 lattice rectum a line passes through the foci directrix back side of the vertex Okay, see, in this case, in standard equation, center gives 0, 0. Vertices, plus or minus a, 0. Foci, plus or minus a, 0. The value of e can be calculated. Square root of a square plus b square by a square, which is more than 1. In case of ellipse, the value of e is less than 1 because e equal to square root of a square minus b square by a square therefore less than 1. But in case of hyperbola the value of e can be calculated square root of a square plus b square by a square which gives more than 1. So center 0 comma 0 vertices plus or minus a comma 0 foci plus or minus a e comma 0. Next equation of directrix x equal to plus or minus a by e. Equation of lattice rectum x equal to plus or minus a e. Equation of transverse axis, x axis that is y equal to 0. Equation of conjugate axis, y axis that is x equal to 0. Length of transverse axis, 2a. Length of conjugate axis, 2b. Length of lattice rectum, which can be calculated 2b square by a. Even in case of ellipse, length of Major axis here transverse axis which gives the same value 2a. In case of ellipse, minor axis whose length is 2b. In this case, length of conjugate axis which gives the length as 2b. In both the cases, length of lattice rectum can be calculated by using the formula 2b square by a. Is it clear? Here we have 10 points center, foci, vertices, directrix, lattice rectum, equation of transverse axis, equation of conjugate axis. Length of transverse axis, length of conjugate axis, and length of lattice rectum. With E, E can be calculated square root of A square plus B square by A square, which is greater than 1. Easily, you can able to identify the type 1. In this case, plus X square by A square minus Y square by B square equal to 1. Plus X square by A square, therefore, transverse axis along X axis. Because of transverse axis along X axis, hyperbola will be like this. So, in this case, we calculate at center, vertices, foci, directrix, lattice rectum, equation of transverse axis, conjugate axis, length of transverse axis, conjugate axis, and length of lattice rectum. And the value of E can be calculated square root of A square plus B square by A square, which is greater than 1.
Got it? Take down. Type 2. The general equation is y square by a square minus x square by b square equal to 1. Here, plus y square by a square minus x square by b square equal to 1. Plus y square by a square. Therefore, your transverse axis along y axis. In this case, your hyperbola will be like this. Center vertices V1 and V2, foci F1 and F2, directrix, back side of the vertex, which is nothing but y equal to plus a by e and minus a by e. So, lattice rectum, lattice rectum, y equal to plus a e, another lattice rectum y equal to minus a e. In this case, the transverse axis along y axis, because plus y square by a square, therefore, the transverse axis along y axis. In this case, center 0, 0, vertices 0, plus or minus a, Okay, 0, plus or minus a e. Directrix y equal to plus or minus a by e. Equation of lattice rectum y equal to plus or minus a by e. In this case, equation of transverse axis y axis that is x equal to 0. Equation of conjugate axis x axis that is y equal to 0. Length of transverse axis 2a. Length of conjugate axis 2b. Length of lattice rectum 2b square by a. In this case also, the value of e can be calculated by using the formula square root of a square plus b square by a square, which is more than 1. Is it clear? Very simple. Type 2 plus y square by a square minus x square by b square equal to 1 plus y square by a square. Therefore, transverse axis along y axis. In case of ellipse, we will see the value of the denominator which has more whose numerator gives the major axis. But in this case, plus square term gives the transverse axis. In this case, plus y square by a square. Therefore, transverse axis along y axis. There, in case of uh, ellipse, the greater value of the denominator is a square. Another one is b square. In this case, positive square denominator is a square. Negative term denominator is b square. In this case, transverse axis along y axis. Therefore, the structure of the hyperbola will be like this. It gives the center 0, 0, 4 k 0, plus or minus a, 4 k 0, plus or minus a e. Because the points lies on y axis, therefore x coordinate are 0. Equation of the directrix y equal to plus or minus a by e. Equation of the lattice rectum y equal to plus or minus a e. Here, transverse axis is a y axis that is x equal to 0. Conjugate axis x axis whose equation will be y equal to 0. Length of transverse axis 2a, length of conjugate axis 2b, and length of lattice rectum, which can be calculated by using the same formula 2b square by a. Is it clear? In case of parabola, we have four types. In case of ellipse and hyperbola, we have two types. Is it clear? Almost ellipse and hyperbola having the same titles, mainly the sign. In between these two terms in general, if we have plus, it will be ellipse. If you have minus, it will be hyperbola. In case of ellipse also, we discuss center, foci, vertex, directrix, lattice rectum, length of lattice rectum. But that we may use the word length of major axis, minor axis. Here we use length of transverse axis and conjugate axis. Is it clear? Mainly you should know the difference between ellipse and hyperbola. In case of ellipse, we have plus sign. In case of hyperbola, we have minus sign in standard form. E value calculated square root of a square minus b square by a square that's why less than 1. But in case of hyperbola, E value can be calculated square root of a square plus b square by a square which is greater than 1. Got it?